púrpura. Ahí están viendo esto. ¿eh? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Today we've put together a compilation that's going to excite, scare, intrigue, and leave you wanting more. Ready? Let's jump in. Right off the bat, we start with something really weird. Take a look at this peculiar creature. It's a massive beast that looks like a pig that has been given a dose of steroids. The creature even appears to have three horns on its upper back, which makes it even more intimidating. It almost looks like a hybrid of a pig and a Rottweiler. Seeing something like this naturally has us thinking a lot. What is this creature? How did it end up like this? If it's truly real, or does it even eat? Aaron calls it a dog pig, or pig dog. While that looks like a befitting name, Julius chastised us a lot for believing this is real. He believes it's altered footage, since there's no way parents would allow their kids near something this scary. Yet we have two toddlers petting it. Either way, we couldn't seem to come up with an agreement on what this might be or if it's even real. Uh, can you help? Have you ever killed a mosquito and seen purple blood instead of red? Well, this woman was bitten by a mosquito and when she killed it, she saw that the mosquito had purple blood instead of red. Bizarre, right? While it might sound strange, this kind of thing isn't uncommon in biology. Sometimes mosquitoes, especially those in special environments or with different eating habits, might have blood that's a different color because of what they eat or how their bodies work. We can't say that's what's happening here, but this is Mother Nature we're talking about. Either that or there's a new kind of mosquito out there that our scientists haven't seen before. What do you think? The battery, along with the Bluetooth device. Yeah, I'm just gonna plug them in right now. We're talking about actual voltages. Yeah, I think we should go left. Left. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Okay, Doing yeah, yeah. donuts. What do you call a cockroach with cybernetic enhancements? A robo roach. Some men connected a battery and a Bluetooth device to a cockroach and set it on a table. While the creature was capable of moving on its own, the individuals in question were able to control its movements. It's certainly an innovative idea, but it also raises some serious concerns about the implications of such technology for humans. The concept of mind control and sleeper agents doesn't seem so far-fetched anymore, and it's hard not to worry about the potential consequences of this kind of technology. Julius doubts that such a technology exists, but if anything, this clip serves as a reminder that we need to be thoughtful and cautious as we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with AI and other advanced technologies. Next, we have a clip that seems to have captured a glitch in the Matrix. Take a close look at this tap. It looks like the water is frozen in time, but you can still hear the tap flowing. Curious, the one filming puts his finger where the water is supposed to be flowing, and sure enough, it is. So what could be happening here? It's a peculiar phenomenon that raises some interesting questions. Could this be a glitch in the Matrix, or is there something more complex at play? Perhaps the water's flow rate is so slow that it appears to have stopped altogether, but the sound of flowing water is still audible. Could it be an illusion? Perhaps the human eye perceives the motion differently, either that or the footage is manipulated. The problem with this hypothesis is that we can't test it. Have you seen it, and what do you think? The passenger looked out the window of a plane and was surprised to see this. While looking at it, I couldn't tell what I was looking at, but according to the uploader, it's an unidentified aerial phenomenon, or UAP for short, that has been seen many times. 
He stated that the craft appears to be similar to the one that YouTuber Jake Paul captured on his cell phone. Has any of you seen whatever clip he's referring to, and did it look legit? If it did, then perhaps there's a possibility that there are actual extraterrestrials amongst us. What the hell? A pair of hikers were exploring the woods when they suddenly heard some strange and unusual noises. As they started to investigate, they noticed something moving from a distance among the trees. Intrigued, they decided to wait and see if they could get a better look. Gradually, their camera captured the image of a pale creature slowly making its way toward them. The creature appeared to be a rake-like figure, tall, thin, and with long, bony fingers. The hikers were understandably spooked by this unexpected sighting and immediately decided to hightail it out of there. Looking at this creature, it's safe to say that the hikers made the right call by putting some distance between themselves and the creature. But what do you think this is? A rake or something else? A mysterious and unsettling creature has been caught on a trail camera. Its appearance is truly disturbing, with strange features that are difficult to describe. The creature appears to have transformed, starting as a human and gradually morphing into its current form. Reports on this creature are scarce, but those who have seen it claim it's a truly terrifying sight. The origin and nature of this creature are unknown. Could we be looking at a shape-shifting alien? What do you guys think? A group of scientists allegedly came across this tiny winged creature, which they first found fossilized in a rock. They've been carefully studying and cleaning it, as well as scanning its features. Its appearance has naturally caused some confusion among scientists, as it resembles a fairy. The creature has been thoroughly examined, but it doesn't match the description of the beautiful and elegant fairies we see in cartoons and folklore. So the question remains, is it an authentic fairy or is it a forgery? Sometimes I don't even know why I ask, but I am asking. What do you guys think? Real or not? Enjoying this episode? Kindly hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already so we can keep bringing you more clips. Done? Okay, well, let's continue with the day's episode then. Observe this peaceful scene of a man floating on the serene currents of the river, lost in his thoughts and enjoying the soothing warmth of the sun. However, unknown to him, a silent and deadly predator lies beneath the surface, the giant anaconda. As the man floats along, the massive snake silently approaches, but for some odd reason swims by without any concern or interest in the man. How come? Julius states that if the clip were real, the snake might have recently eaten. We know anacondas are big, no, well, huge, but the size in this clip is definitely exaggerated, which has us all thinking. It's definitely fake. What say you? In this peculiar clip, a man is seen lying flat on the ground in his garden with his back to the earth. Then, in a matter of seconds, he starts to levitate. As he floats in the sky, he holds out a skipping rope and swings it back and forth beneath his legs, demonstrating that there is nothing there supporting him. He then proceeds to swing the rope over his head, further confirming that nothing is holding him up. Looking at this, I'm reminded of the old Chinese movies I used to enjoy when I was younger. Yes, I am old, I know, but that's not the point. I know we want to believe in the supernatural, but if you're going to fake it and deceive us, at least make sure your fake is impressive. According to the one who sent this in, this video footage was recorded over a decade ago by a diver who was exploring the depths of the ocean. <laughs> 
As the camera captured the underwater world, an unusual creature caught the diver's attention. The creature appeared to be a fish, but its body resembled that of an insect with long, thin legs protruding from its sides. The creature's tail was that of a fish, but its movements were more akin to those of an insect. The video has since gone viral with many viewers expressing their disbelief and amazement at the creature's unique appearance. However, some skeptics have suggested that the footage could have been created using CGI. What do you think? In the stillness of the night sky, an unusual and mysterious phenomenon captured the attention of an observer. A glowing object, unlike anything they have ever witnessed before, was visible in the distance. As you look closer, the object's fiery appearance becomes more distinct, but it is clear that it's not an ordinary flame. As the observer was trying to make sense of what they were seeing, a larger object suddenly appeared beside the first one. It was a star-shaped object with many tentacles around it, and it seemed to vanish into the sky as quickly as it appeared. The observer was left stunned and bewildered, wondering what these objects could be and why they were present in the sky. What could they be? Are they natural phenomena or something else entirely? So someone sent us this clip telling us it was a fuel tank belonging to the Space Shuttle Endeavour. For those unfamiliar with it, the Space Shuttle Endeavour was one of the orbiters in NASA's Space Shuttle program. It was named after the British HMS Endeavour, the ship commanded by James Cook, on his first voyage of discovery, 1768 to 1771. Endeavour was constructed to replace the Space Shuttle Challenger, which was lost in an accident in 1986. Its construction was completed in 1991, and it made its first flight, STS-49, in May 1992. Now, I'm no NASA expert, but I can tell when something is wrong with the clip. Is it just me, or does this clip seem a tad unnatural? Now, I've seen weird things in my day, but nothing could have prepared me for this. The middle finger on the hand appears to be significantly larger and thicker than the other fingers. The difference in size and thickness is very obvious and noticeable. The situation raises questions as to what could be the cause of this anomaly. One possibility is a medical condition such as a bone growth disorder or an abnormality in the circulatory system. Another possibility is that it could be a birth defect. However, there is also a chance that this could be the result of an otherworldly influence, perhaps an alien. Unless, of course, the whole thing is fake. One thing we can all, however, agree on is that a slap from this hand would set you straight. Before the next clip, Aaron asked me to ask you if you've already hit the like, subscribe, notification bell icons, because he doesn't want to send a skinwalker your way, if you know what I mean. This footage showcases the breathtaking celestial bodies that adorn the firmament, the sun and moon. Two of the most prominent features of the sky appear to be of similar size when viewed from the Earth. This is a fascinating phenomenon, considering that the sun is actually 400 times larger than the moon. However, the moon is located much closer to the Earth than the sun, and this creates the illusion of them being the same size. The one who uploaded this clip, however, wants us to pay attention to more than just these celestial bodies. He says there's something alien on the left side of the clip. Looking at the clip, I get where he's coming from, but I just feel this clip was digitally manipulated. I don't know, but let's just call it a hunch. Passenger who was traveling on a plane managed to capture intriguing footage of strange orbs moving in the skies. The video has caused quite a stir online, with some people believing that it shows a genuine UFO sighting. However, I made an interesting observation. The strange orbs are just a reflection from the plane on the window that the camera picked up. The video is shot from the window of the plane, 
and seems to show several white orbs moving about in the sky. The orbs seem to move in time with the camera's movements, which indicates that they're not actually in the sky, but rather a reflection from the plane's window. What do you think? Do you believe that that's a genuine UFO sighting or just a reflection from the plane's window? In this intriguing footage, a mysterious creature is captured in someone's backyard. The creature appears to be tall and dark, with its white teeth visible in the darkness, creating a chilling sight. The creature's dark fur makes it difficult to discern its features, but one can slightly make out its long legs and hands, which adds to the eeriness of the scene. The creature stands there for a few moments as if assessing its surroundings before suddenly vanishing into thin air, leaving the observer puzzled and bewildered. The video raises many questions about the identity of the creature and its origins. Could this be a real undiscovered species lurking in our midst? Share your thoughts. This next one is intriguing, if I do say so myself. At first, the camera captures a strange object in the sky, and moments later, a helicopter could be seen approaching it. The helicopter then begins to circle the object deliberately and methodically. The object in question is undoubtedly an unidentified flying object, as there seems to be no other plausible explanation. It's possible that the authorities were alerted to the object's presence and sent the helicopter to investigate. The fact that the helicopter is circling the object suggests that the authorities are trying to get a closer look at it. It's difficult to say what the object is or what its purpose might be. It may be a drone or some other kind of experimental aircraft. Alternatively, it could be something more mysterious like an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Whatever it is, it's clear that the authorities are taking it seriously and are doing their best to get to the bottom of the situation. What are your thoughts? Someone captured an enchanting footage of a mermaid resting on a rock in a serene beach, and we've got it. Enjoy. The mermaid was facing toward the sea, and its long, lustrous hair flowed down its back. Its shimmering tail was visible from the camera angle as it swung back and forth. Mermaids have always been a part of human folklore for centuries, often depicted as half-human and half-fish beings. The concept of these mythical creatures has fascinated people for generations, but whether they exist in reality or are mere figments of human imagination remains an enigma. If we are going to answer the question using this footage, then we'll put them in the realm of fiction, since this looks very unnatural and very unrealistic. But perhaps that's just me. What do you think? In this footage, we have strange looking blue clouds that have formed some sort of tunnel to the earth. This looks so strange. Some suggest it could be a portal, a gateway for extraterrestrials to make their grand entrance on Earth. Others raise the possibility of advanced alien technology at play, turning the sky into a canvas of celestial wonder. What's your perspective on this celestial display? A unique atmospheric event, or perhaps a glimpse into the realm of extraterrestrial mysteries? Our next clip was taken in the Congo. The clip features an interesting experiment where a small rock is connected to an LED light with wires, causing it to light up. In the next part of the clip, two larger rocks are brought together, creating sparks of electricity and fire. This experiment hints at the possibility of groundbreaking technology involving rocks that can generate electricity. 
The implications of this discovery are fascinating. This could mean potential for innovative applications and advancements. If rocks can produce electricity, it could lead to transformative effects in various fields, offering new opportunities for sustainable energy solutions. Sadly, though, I feel this isn't real. If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more videos like this for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. Now let me take you to the mysterious streets of Bosnia, Europe, where a late night drive turned into an otherworldly encounter. A group of people were cruising through the silent streets, the hum of the engine cutting through the quiet night. Suddenly, they brought the car to a halt. But why? Well, it was because of this, hundreds of birds standing on the road. Now, it's not your usual feathered flock, either. These birds seem to have organized a street takeover. No cars in sight, just the road filled with birds leisurely strolling and others standing, fixating their gaze on the approaching vehicle. What were the birds doing there, congregating in the dead of night? And why were they settled on the ground? Is there a reason they chose to abandon the high grounds? If any of you have answers, please share them in the comments section. In a rather unsettling discovery, a doll was stumbled upon in the depths of a river. But this wasn't just any doll. It bore an uncanny resemblance to a human. The doll's features are chillingly realistic. Its skin is eerily pale, swathed in a dark shroud. Its eyes, wide open, seem to pierce through the observer, while blood-red lips hint at something far more sinister. The image is further intensified by what appears to be blood oozing from the corner of its mouth. While most would initially mistake this for a real-life horror scene, it's indeed just a doll, albeit one that raises a myriad of questions. How did it end up in the river? Who created it, and for what purpose? The answers remain elusive, shrouding this eerie discovery in an air of mystery. What's your take on this enigmatic doll? The uploader of this next footage is believed to have caught and recorded a Bigfoot. The footage was taken on a mountain in Indonesia. Have a look. You can see a huge creature walking across the field under the waterfall. The creature appears to be furry and bipedal. Looking at the distance and the size, this creature must be really big for it to be seen so clearly in the woods. This ruled out any speculations of it being an ape. A part of me believes this is the real deal, but I doubt a random person would be walking through the woods in the mountains wearing a Bigfoot costume. The heat and dangers alone make it an unpleasant decision to make. But then again, humans are just full of surprises. You never know. Until a human is caught in those woods in a Bigfoot costume, I believe we have a Bigfoot sighting deep in the woods of the mountains in Indonesia. Amazing, isn't it? On the eerie night of September the 22nd, 2004, in the quiet halls of an abandoned office in Rayon, Nuevo Leon, a diligent security guard with a trusty Kodak DX4530 camera embarked on a routine patrol ensuring that all was calm in the deserted workspace. The guard had no clue that the calm he was enjoying that night was about to be disrupted. As he wandered through the dimly lit corridors, a sudden chill ran down his spine. There, in the pale glow of his flashlight, stood a bug-eyed alien. The extraterrestrial visitor possessed the unmistakable features of popular lore, a huge head, black eyes, and a pale humanoid body. As soon as he managed to take a picture of the creature, it fled, leaving the security shocked with nothing but his picture to show of the encounter. What would you have done in such a situation? These strange creatures were captured in an abandoned shed in the woods. I know they look alien, but these are barn owls. Barn owls, Tito alba, as they're also known in science, are medium-sized owls known for their unique appearance and wide distribution. 
They have a heart-shaped facial disc that helps them hear better. These owls live in various places like grasslands, farms, and open woodlands, and are often found near farms and barns, which is the reason for their names. Now, these barn owls, with their two feet firmly planted on the ground, do cut a rather unique figure. From a certain angle, one might even wonder if we've stumbled upon intergalactic species practicing their synchronized standing routine. I'm quite sure a lot of people have mistaken them to be aliens. Confession? Uh, I used to be one, but don't judge me, okay? I changed, and I grew, and now I know their name. This intriguing encounter. This next footage was taken by a lady who spotted a strange woman standing in a lake at the New Jersey State Park. The woman was dressed in all white with dark, flowing hair. The ladies who spotted this strange scene were not sure if the woman was a ghost or just some weird woman. The footage, however, reminds me of the earlier footage involving the group who saw the woman by the dried river who screamed at them. I don't know what it is with these strange women standing in water bodies, but tales like these have a way of echoing through the corridors of time. This brings to mind the legend of La Llorona, the Weeping Woman. A story steeped in tragedy hails from the rich tapestry of Mexican folklore. The chilling tale speaks of a Spanish woman who, in a fit of madness, drowned her children in the river. Since that fateful day, it's said her restless spirit haunts water bodies perpetually searching for her lost offspring. This tale hailed from Mexico and has been passed on for centuries. Do you think this is La Llorona or someone else entirely? Share your thoughts with me in the comment section. If you've made it this far and haven't hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment, you could do that before we go on. Thank you very much, because it means a lot. Coming back to the episode. Still on giant or tall creatures, take a look at this next footage. Although the uploader doesn't exactly tell us where he took the footage, based on the footage alone, we can tell that this was captured in some snowy mountain or probably during winter. At first, the footage appears to be a typical woodland scene, but within seconds, a massive furry creature comes into view in the distance. Without warning, you might be tempted to think you're dealing with a gorilla due to its size, but do gorillas walk on all twos like the creature in the footage is doing? Well, definitely not, so what's the explanation for what we are seeing? There's no logical explanation for it. If we want to thoroughly explain the footage, we will have to step into the realm of the paranormal, and that's exactly what the paranormal community did. The community believed that we were actually looking at a potential footage of Bigfoot, and I'm leaning towards that explanation and possibility. I mean, can you name any other creature of such size and movement? Precisely, it's undoubtedly Bigfoot. This trail camera image reveals what appears to be an alien creature in the middle of the woods, adding to the growing list of reported alien sightings around the world. The intrigue and curiosity surrounding such phenomena have become increasingly commonplace, with stories of extraterrestrial encounters becoming a familiar part of the global narrative. The image prompts contemplation on the possibility of otherworldly beings making appearances in our midst. While skeptics may attribute such sightings to various factors, the allure of the unknown continues to captivate those fascinated by mysteries beyond our understanding. What do you think of this capture, though? A potential glimpse into the realm of extraterrestrial existence or another hoax meant to mock us, the believers in the paranormal? This security camera footage captures a peculiar moment as a glowing orb emerges from the woods, floats across the camera lens, and continues its journey into the distance. Unlike a conventional fire, the distinct characteristics of the glowing orb are evident in the footage. Such unexplained phenomena often lead to speculation and varied interpretations. The mystery surrounding glowing orbs has fueled discussions ranging from natural atmospheric occurrences to paranormal and extraterrestrial possibilities. What are your thoughts on this intriguing footage? A natural phenomenon or perhaps a glimpse into the realm of the unexplained? Share your thoughts in the comments section.
A hospice nurse is the owner of this photograph. As one of her patients neared her demise, the patient said she was sensing something in the room with her. She was given a small camera to help her try and capture what she was sensing and seeing. When the photo was developed, this is what appeared. A luminous entity in the darkness. It looks like a humanoid being with wings. The nurse believed that the patient was seeing her guardian angel coming for her. What are your thoughts on this? This security footage was sent in by someone who noticed something rather odd happening in it. I want you to see this. This is crazy. Ah, you see that, Andrew? A woman appears out of nowhere holding bags. It's the kind of spectacle that prompts us to wonder if ethereal entities are strolling incognito amongst us. You have to wonder where she's coming from and how often she does this. Also, is she the only one or are there more? These are questions that naturally come up when you see the clip. Of course, it could be a case of edited footage, but it has not been proven if the footage was tampered with or not. Until then, Aaron and I believe this might be the real deal. But what about you? Whilst the last capture left a lot of room for speculation due to its blurriness, this image is crystal clear and, quite frankly, more unsettling. Here we encounter another tree, but this one is considerably scarier than the previous one. This peculiar tree seems to have a face, and it's not a friendly one. At the top, you can't help but notice a pair of enormous holes resembling eyes. Right beneath that, there's something that eerily resembles a nose, and beneath that, a gaping void that can only be described as a wide, open, terrifying mouth. What's even more spine-chilling is the layer beneath the mouth which eerily resembles teeth. This tree appears as if it's screaming in agony, frozen in a macabre moment of anguish. But before we jump to supernatural conclusions, it's important to consider a psychological phenomenon known as pareidolia. Humans tend to perceive familiar faces in unrelated objects, like spotting shapes in the clouds. So in all likelihood, this is just a regular tree, albeit one that triggers our innate ability to find faces in the most unexpected places. Rest assured, this tree is not a creature of the night. It's just another intriguing facet of the mysterious, natural world we share our planet with. Or is it? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. For our next trail cam capture, we moved to the Amazon, where this weird and quite frankly scary picture of a beast was captured. Behold, the horned beast of Baja. If you're unfamiliar with this cryptid, don't worry, we were too. It's quite surprising to discover that such a creature resides in the Amazon. Never did it ever cross our minds to check if the Amazon had any cryptids living in there. But there are apparently a number of them, and the creature on your screens currently is all but one of these creatures. According to the person who uploaded this image online, it's the clearest photo of the mysterious horned beast. It was taken back in 2007 by an American team exploring the area. The young boy believed he'd seen a demon carrying a baby, but all who knew the legends of the horned beast dispelled his fears and told him it was a dangerous cryptid that roamed the area, adding that he was lucky to have escaped with his life. Basically, not many meet the horned beast of Badia and come out of the experience alive. That makes this photo all the more rare. Back on the topic of giants, a giant three-fingered hand was found in late 2016 in a Peruvian desert tunnel. While some believe it could be a hoax, a physician's report states that the hand is biological and composed of skin and bone. X-ray images uncovered six bones in each finger, coupled with experts approximating the owner's height to be between 2.7 and 3 meters. This means that the finger does not match any recognized earthly being. So what could we be dealing with? To solve this mystery, radiocarbon and DNA tests will be performed to give a scientific spotlight on this perplexing hand. Until then, we can only speculate. What do you think they'll discover after this test? Alien giants or another species of advanced humans that used to live on Earth? Tell us what you think. 
Our next image, which is a trail cam image, captures a rather strange creature. The owner of the trail cam was pretty shocked to spot this creature. It looks like a deer, but not quite. Its snout is longer, almost like an anteater, but not as long as one. What could we be looking at? A deformed animal? Some paranormal enthusiasts believe that this is a skinwalker. These shape-shifting entities can assume animal forms. The belief is that sometimes these transformations don't go as planned, resulting in creatures that appear deformed or otherworldly. What's your take on this enigmatic trail cam capture? A unique and potentially undiscovered species, or could it indeed be a manifestation of paranormal entities like the elusive skinwalkers? Still on ancient creatures, we have another footage that's sure to blow you away. Have you ever heard of the alligator snapping turtle? Well, if you haven't, today's your lucky day. You get to not only see one of these magnificent creatures, but actually see someone holding one in his hands. Before you tell yourself that's no feat, know that these prehistoric-looking creatures are known for their impressive size, with males typically reaching lengths of 13 to 20 inches and sometimes even larger. Aside from its length, they can weigh anywhere from 150 to 250 pounds or even more, making them one of the heaviest freshwater turtle species. If that does not impress you, know that these animals are known to have quite a powerful bite. Knowing this, it's shocking to see someone actually carrying and manhandling one. Whatever you do, please don't do what this man is doing in the footage, even if it looks very cool and, quite frankly, very manly. In this next footage, a group of youngsters ventured into the woods in search of an adventure. As they ventured further into the woods, they stumbled upon a peculiar sight. A dried-up riverbed, but what was even more unsettling was the presence of a mysterious woman draped in a flowing white cloth. At first, she was crouched down, but later stood up with her back turned to them as she made strange movements with her head and arms, almost as if she was performing some kind of ritual. Curiosity getting the better of them, one brave soul from the group approached the enigmatic woman, perhaps to inquire about her purpose in the desolate place. But suddenly, the woman let out a bone-chilling scream which scared the group and sent them running for their lives. <laughs> What started as a simple quest for adventure took an unexpected and bone-chilling turn. It seems these young explorers got far more than they bargained for in the heart of those ominous woods. What are these strange cloud formations? These clouds are making strange formations and moving pretty fast. Possible atmospheric phenomena that could create unusual cloud formations include the presence of certain weather conditions, wind patterns, or even the convergence of air masses. In the case of forming tornado suspicions, it's crucial to note that tornadoes are associated with specific atmospheric conditions, and they typically manifest in severe weather situations. What are your thoughts on this atmospheric mystery? Do you lean towards a natural explanation, or does the phenomenon evoke a sense of the unexplained in you? Tell us in the comment section. Step into the eerie tale of Han Church Woods, UK, where in the chilling grasp of November 2011, a photo surfaced unveiling a spectral figure of a lady. The ghostly lady in question appears to be wearing a hat. According to the owner of the image, there was no one smoking or vaping around, and before you reach for your skepticism, the image is also said to be 100% original and untouched after being reviewed. This means that there's no digital trickery involved. Images like this make you ponder the existence of the supernatural. What's your interpretation of this ghostly apparition in Handchurch Woods? A genuine paranormal encounter, or perhaps an optical illusion with a spooky twist? What do you think that creature is? It's hard to tell, isn't it? 
Despite living with their wildlife, the uploader of the footage is very unsure of what this creature his security cam captured. He's leaning toward the possibility of it being a skunk, and I can understand why. But then again, the unconventional characteristics of the creature make him believe he could actually be dealing with something else. What do you think? This human stone can be found in Ireland. The first time I saw it, I was told it was a real person who'd been turned to stone, and that made me feel sick to my stomach. I was wondering how much pain this person had gone through when their body was being mummified in the middle of the river. Was it some kind of medieval torture method? My fears were soon dispelled, and if I gave you an indication that this was real, I would want to dispel your fears as well. This is no sinister tale of agony. Instead, it's a testament to the enduring spirit of human endeavor. This eerie creation is in fact a sculpture, an artful representation of the relentless struggles and unwavering determination that drive individuals to conquer their ambitions. Interesting, huh? Right off the bat, we start with something rather bizarre and strange. Take a look at this strange creature. It looks like some sort of bug, but instead of having legs, it uses tentacle-like appendages to propel itself forward. It's not your typical Earth critter, that's for sure. Now, I'm left wondering if we're dealing with some extraterrestrial visitor, or if it's just a species we haven't stumbled upon yet. I want it to be an alien, but oh, who knows, this could actually be some previously unknown animal species. What do you think? Take a look at this image, a female Amothemus spider and a nest of children spotted in Malaysia. Just look at how many babies there are. Amothemus spiders, also known as tarantulas, are notable for their often striking colors and intricate web structures. Female tarantulas are generally larger than males, and they are known to create silt nests or burrows to protect their offspring. Once the spiderlings hatch, they stay close to the mother for a period, just like in the picture before venturing out on their own. Female tarantulas invest considerable energy into producing a large number of offspring, although not all of them may survive to adulthood. If you walked into a site like this, what would your reaction be? Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, could you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send a big tarantula after you now, would you? This footage was taken in the middle of nowhere. There was a road tunnel built for trucks to go through. But hold on a second. As you can see, a truck drives into the tunnel. The video is zoomed out, and we don't see an exit for the tunnel. This brings up many questions. Where does this tunnel lead? Is it a part of an underground network connecting remote regions, or does it lead to a concealed facility that serves a specific function? An ominous function? I guess we'd never know. Deep in the Indian jungle, an adventurous YouTuber and his crew embarked on a chilling expedition to explore an eerie abandoned house. The building was dated to years ago, so the structure is very ruined and looks like a hotspot for haunting. The walls covered in green fungus and mold bore witness to years of neglect. Trees have even sprouted within the property. The structure was said to be owned by a family who were killed in the house, resulting in rumors of serious hauntings on the property. I'm guessing that's why this YouTube crew went to check it out. Initially, as they explored the house, nothing seemed amiss except for a lone stray cat resting by a window. However, within minutes, they spot a strange figure standing in one of the rooms. The discovery was spine-chilling, and naturally they tried to discern what exactly they were dealing with. The figure looked like a girl. It had long, black, flowing hair, yet she herself stood stiffly. Her demeanor and stance naturally spooked the team, and they ran out of the place. Now, I want this to be true, but a part of me questions the authenticity of the footage. What about you? 
In the northern part of the Ukraine lies the Tetra River, a picturesque water body surrounded by lush green trees and scattered houses, as depicted in the video clip. Recently, reports have emerged of an unusual creature spotted in this river, sparking curiosity and intrigue among online communities. Witnesses have described it as resembling a reptile with a striking set of spiky teeth in its mouth. Fortunately, though, the footage you are watching serves as one of the first real glimpses of this mysterious creature's existence. The creature primarily appears to be grey in color, with a light yellow shade on its head area. Distinctive crack-like patterns on its skin further set it apart from other enigmatic creatures. This person recorded the video despite being clearly frightened, bravely attempting to interact with the creature by waving a fishing rod near it. During the initial attempt, the creature didn't react. However, undeterred, the recorder cautiously moves the fishing rod closer to the creature, which prompts the mysterious being to turn away and swiftly jump back into the water. This behavior leads to speculation that the creature could possibly be a mutated animal from the Chernobyl disaster. Some don't think so. They think it looks ordinary. The true identity of the creature, however, remains a mystery and has sparked a great deal of speculation and discussion online. Considering your expertise in identifying creatures, we hope one of you can help uncover its identity. Please don't disappoint. Ever heard of the giants or Nephilim that used to live on Earth before we came? At least, that is what some people believe and some archaeologists have found remains of suspected giants. Well, someone noticed this person standing at the edge of the mountain. We cannot see the person clearly because the sun is setting, but you could make out the obvious silhouette of a human, perhaps a man. The owner of the footage believes that it's a giant because looking at the distance of the mountaintop and the size of the person standing there, this person must be very huge. What are your thoughts on this? A potential glimpse at a colossal human or perhaps a play of shadows creating the illusion of a giant? What in the world is this? A woman was seen walking hand in hand with a black-skinned humanoid creature with white eyes, scanned hair, and two tiny horns perched on its head. This petite creature is more of a supernatural sidekick than a typical six-year-old. Given the lack of alarm from people in the background, this must be a person in a costume or makeup, perhaps for a planned event, possibly for entertainment, art, or a specific theme. Events like costume parties, theatrical shows, or artistic performances often showcase elaborate and realistic outfits that can generate a mix of fear and fascination because of how lifelike and haunting they present. For a minute, I thought we had to start getting an exorcist. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't. El Nino is safe. What would you do if you spotted this large spider in your home? This footage was taken from a home in Trinidad and Tobago. Most people say this is a Goliath bird eater, and Julius seems to think it truly is. For those like myself who were unfamiliar with it, the Goliath bird eater is among the world's largest spider species from the rainforests of South America. These spiders are known for their impressive size, with adult females growing their legs up to 30 centimeters. Despite their name, they mostly dine on invertebrates, occasionally capturing small birds, but not making it a regular part of their diet. If this is truly a Goliath bird eater in a Trinidad and Tobago home, it's a bit unusual as these spiders aren't native to the place. Yet the exotic pet trade has introduced various spider species to places where they wouldn't naturally be found. Next, let's journey to Ghana, where we meet Abdul Samed, a man standing at an impressive nine feet tall. Born in 1994 in the northern region of Ghana, Abdul Samad's towering stature is attributed to the endocrine disorder, acromegaly. This condition arises from an excess of growth hormone in the body. 
Now ponder with me for a moment. Here is a living giant amidst us, and reports of individuals with extraordinary heights echo from various corners of the globe. Could these individuals be descendants, or in some way, connected to the mythical giants that have captured our curiosity? Or is it really nothing more than just an endocrine disorder as stated earlier? Share your thoughts. In this video clip, a somewhat congested room is shown. A four-legged chair suddenly falls to the ground. What truly captures attention in the footage is a toddler sitting in the middle of the room seemingly engaged in conversation with itself. Initially, it appears that the toddler is the sole presence in the room. But that assumption is quickly challenged when, without any visible cause, the toddler is pushed onto its back with its hands and legs raised high. It's perplexing because there doesn't seem to be anything or anyone in the frame that could have caused this fall. It was no ordinary fall either. The boy was pushed. It must have hurt as we can hear the child's cries. This unusual occurrence raises questions. Could there be an unseen presence in the room, perhaps a ghost or an evil spirit? Is it possible that this mysterious force is acting out of jealousy? After all, why else would a toddler suddenly be pushed by something invisible to the naked human eye? This scenario is particularly intriguing because the mother believes it's the ghost of her two other deceased babies. You see, the baby in the footage was originally part of a set of three, but the other two didn't make it. The mother believes that the other two could be attempting to murder the living one. Bizarre, right? But what do you think? All this man wanted to do was enjoy a good time with his girlfriend on his property in the countryside. Things initially went as expected, but they took a dark turn when he began hearing eerie and terrifying sounds. He ventured outside to investigate and noticed eerie eyes seemingly following him in the darkness. On one occasion, he spotted it on his roof, followed it from the ground, and ultimately discovered what appeared to be the carcass of another animal. First off, how did whatever that creature was drag it up there? Is it some vampire creature or a creature of the night? Some fancy it being a skinwalker, but that's something I just don't see. It reminds me of the dark creatures from the Netflix series Castlevania. Only this isn't some series, this is real life. I can't see anyone saying no to the cool country breeze, the quiet life, the relaxed scenery, and all things associated with the countryside. But what about these creatures of the night that plague the place? Well, you decide. Next, there's more mysterious action, but this time it's in a parking lot. Someone notices a strange creature running fast behind a car like it's on a mission. As it rushes, it goes straight for cover under another vehicle. When you take a closer look and slow down the footage, the mysterious being becomes clear. A yellow, small creature with a humanoid body. It clearly looks alien. The creature's purposeful actions, like choosing to hide under another car, hint at a level of intelligence and intentionality not commonly seen in regular wildlife behavior. What's interesting is that the creature seems to know the person is coming, showing a sense of caution or maybe a wish to stay out of sight. Interesting, don't you think? A security camera captured this strange encounter on the road. In the clip, a white car drives from the right side to the left and disappears. Did you see it? Take a look at it again. Did you see that? A ghost figure emerges from the left side approaching the car, but vanishes midway. Now let's entertain the skeptics who might chalk it up to a mere optical illusion or camera artifact, dismissing the possibility of a paranormal encounter. However, some believe that the translucent appearance and purposeful movement seem to defy mere optical illusions. As the ghostly person materializes and then dissipates, the footage leaves us to contemplate the thin veil that separates the realms of the living and the supernatural. What are your thoughts on this mysterious encounter? A ghostly apparition? An optical illusion? 
or something else. Now, this is something I would not like to see when I retrieve my trail cam. Trail cams have captured their fair share of peculiar things, but what was found on this occasion defies both words and description. This hideous being was captured on a trail cam. The creature appears to possess a head and body uncannily reminiscent of the bark of a tree or maybe a hare. The picture is a little blurry, so it's hard to make out its facial features. However, there seems to be what looks like a nose and two hollows on the head that resemble eyes. This creature isn't a tree, especially when compared to the natural trees in the background. So what could it be? Do you think we're looking at a possessed tree come to life or something far worse? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. This recording captures a vast expanse of land covered in tall grass where several individuals engage in a mysterious activity. Four individuals clad in white protective gear are meticulously examining and working on a discovery. Meanwhile, two others donned in lemon green protective attire stand beside a stretcher awaiting the actions of the first group. It's not known who exactly they are or what exactly they are doing, but one thing's certain. They discovered something new, and whatever it is, it's dangerous, necessitating the gear. Simultaneously, the individuals in white protective gear lift a creature from the ground, seemingly possessing a long, fish-like tail, and place it on the stretcher. The other two ensure that the stretcher is positioned securely, preparing for the creature's transfer. The creature's identity remains obscure as the recorder's sole attempt to record this appears too far, even as the scientists step away from the stretcher. This raises the question, how perilous is it to have direct contact with this creature? What necessitates such elaborate protective gear in this remote location? Could it be an alien? A cryptid? Has a lab experiment gone wrong? Escapees from Area 51? The mind can't help but roam in a bid to find an answer to this enchanting enigma. But what do you guys think we're dealing with here? Tell us in the comments section. Next, we have another security camera that appears to have captured a strange encounter. Two men were walking and appeared to be engrossed in conversation as they strolled freely. Suddenly, a beam appears from above, whisking away one of the men in a flash. It reminds me of those scenes from alien abduction movies. His left behind friend, who noticed this, becomes scared, looks around, and starts to run. But where can he really go if there are aliens abducting with such efficiency and speed? This isn't the end of the encounter, however. After a while, the guy who vanished reappears sitting on the ground. He looks around in confusion, appears scared, and proceeds to stand up and run as well. Could this be one of those alien abduction cases where they took the wrong person and returned him? Or could they have done something to him, just like we tag animals and then let him go? If this footage is real, then it's indeed very disturbing. Don't you agree? We start today's episode with a wild but unsettling one. Have a look. Now, when we saw this footage, our first question was, what is this? After watching a few more times, we still realized we didn't know what we were looking at. At first glance, the creature looks like a humanoid creature with short legs squirming in the hands of a man. That's at least until he turned it around and revealed that the creature was actually flatter and smaller than initially thought. At this point, it started looking like a sponge-like creature. But how is that even possible? Well, I don't know, but this creature was caught in one of the water bodies of China. Has anyone here encountered any creature like this? Do you know what it is? If you do, please enlighten us in the comments because we're dying to know. Literally. Leroy, a subscriber, shared this footage of an unusual sighting in a small village outside of Berlin. <laughs> 
According to Leroy, his wife was walking their dog when she spotted the strange object and decided to film it with her cell phone. The object appeared to be flying in a straight line and had an unusual shape that was inconsistent with that of a drone or a balloon. Leroy's wife even looked for drone pilots in the area, but none were found. Interestingly, this sighting was not the first strange occurrence that Leroy and his wife had witnessed in the area. They had also seen a strange lighting glow in Berlin the day before, but it is unclear whether it was related to the UFO sighting. The fact that they've witnessed many strange occurrences in the area suggests it may be a hot spot for paranormal encounters. What would you do in their shoes? And with that, we end today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, oh yeah, uh, before you go, are there are clips and videos you think we should have featured by now that we haven't. Well, the good news is you can share them with us and we'll post them crediting you. Please send any such footage, including ones you recorded yourself, to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do our thing and include it in our next episode. We can't wait to receive what you have. Share this video with someone you love, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.